हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू अवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू व्हीकल्स ए एंड बी ट्रैवल विद यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड थर्टी किलोमीटर पर हावर एंड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर हावर रेस्पेक्टिवली इन द सेम डायरेक्शन दे स्टार्ट एट द सेम टाइम एंड फ्रॉम द सेम प्लेस for a distance of 120 kilometers the faster vehicle b reaches the destination and travels back with the same speed assume that the loss of time to change the direction is negligible if x is the distance traveled by the slower vehicle a before the two vehicles cross each other then x is seems like a difficult question right too lengthy and so much information is given this is the trap upsc sets my friends they purposefully give some questions which are lengthy and you think by looking at the length of the question they are difficult this is not true my friends you can solve this question in less than 20 seconds most of you by looking at this question you will be hesitating whether to attempt it or not most of you will be having this prejudice it's a difficult question you have to overcome these barriers my friends it comes with the practice i'm telling you if you give 30 hours towards csat you will no longer feel the same my friends csat will be a cake walk for you so no prejudice no hesitation fully open minded just go through the question and see what is given there this is a question from time speed and distance chapter you can expect two to three questions every year in csat my friends two vehicles a and b travel with uniform speed that means constant speed their speeds are constant throughout the journey their speeds are different my friends okay 30 km per hour 60 km per hour but these values are not changing throughout their journey okay that is what meant by uniform speed constant speed and they are traveling in the same direction they start at the same time from the same place for a distance of 120 km now this distance is 120 km vehicle a vehicle b they are traveling in the same direction from the same place at the same time okay vehicle a at 30 km per hour vehicle b at 60 km per hour now faster vehicle b reaches the destination it travel till this point it reaches the destination and travels back with the same speed assume that the loss of time to change the direction is negligible okay so taking this turn time is negligible now if x is the distance traveled by the slower vehicle before the two vehicles cross each other so in this time a has traveled the distance x my friends now they are crossing each other see they both have started at the same time after some time t they are crossing each other my friends okay now in this t time what is the distance traveled by vehicle a and vehicle b so distance traveled by vehicle a plus distance traveled by vehicle b a has traveled x distance b has traveled this distance this is 120 plus this distance my friends okay i am calling it as y now tell me isn't x plus y is 120 so this is 120 and these two distances sum up to 120 so 120 plus 120 that is a 240 kilometers my friends okay so distance traveled by vehicle a and vehicle b in t time is 240 now what is the distance formula okay that is speed into time right what is the speed of vehicle a 30 time is t distance traveled by vehicle b okay speed of vehicle b that is 60 and the time is t 240 Now 90 t is equal to 240 t is equal to 24 by 9. This is 8 by 3. 3 threes are 9. 3 8s are 24. Okay, so 8 by 3. Now don't simplify this. It will get cancelled somewhere. So they both cross each other after 8 by 3 hours, my friends. Okay, kilometers kilometers gets cancelled out. We'll be having hours. Time is in hours. now we want x value my friends okay x is distance traveled by vehicle a so that is a uh, 30 into t what is t 8 by 3 3 ones are 3 10s are okay that is 80 km so our answer is c very easy question isn't it 
you just need to know this concept to solve this problem again i am telling you no need to fear by looking at any problem my friends okay you have to overcome that prejudice once you overcome that c sat will be very easy for you all you have to do is understand the language step by step divide and rule just follow what is given in the problem that's it my friends okay